Brian Glenz. I direct the Open Science Federation. We are an alliance of largely nonprofits, so there are some companies as well, people, projects, and organizations in the open science community, and we are ourselves a nonprofit as well. You know, it is very broadly defined and differently defined. Some people focus in areas of open access publishing, some people focus in citizen science. We're very comfortable with there having been no specific definition of open science itself. It is sort of an umbrella term uh, applied to science in, in such a way that uh, you might be looking at the integrity of science, you might be looking at public access to science, but any application of openness to science. What often happens, for example, is someone in citizen science needs access to published research and they don't even know that there is a, a very significant professional community, librarians and researchers themselves, who've been advocating for open access to published results for well over a decade. And when we can connect people who are professionals in research with people from the public who share their concerns, that's very powerful. Well, we do a lot in social media. So we're at Open Science on Twitter. And by our nature as an alliance, that Twitter account, for example, is not just us talking about our own work. We actually share it with at least a couple dozen other organizations. So the Twitter account itself at Open Science is a representation of the Open Science community and is shared by uh, everyone in it, really. Oh, Mozilla, you know, you have to love Mozilla. They're doing so much in other areas of open knowledge in general. Take, for example, their work in open news and journalism. And again, there are a lot of shared concerns between people in these different areas of the open web and open news, and uh, in this case, with Mozilla Science Lab, a new initiative in open science. They often are working on tools that could accomplish the same things, but the tools are not interoperable or they're simply not aware that there are others in totally different areas of the world who share their basic concerns, like how do I extract data from the PDF, or whatever it is exactly. And so Mozilla are particularly interesting because they have the capability of connecting these dots across these different movements and uh, applying sort of all the ethic of the open web to other problems, like problems in journalism and science where there's such a basic need for openness.